guys, it's Huff. I am back in and this is going to be a much overdue update of my finish seven in uh, finish 17 in 2017 2.0 that was started by Monica the Diva. Uh, there's not been a whole lot of progress, really. Um, I have been using some of the items, but um, most of them are kind of hard to tell anyway how they're going. But I am using products, say. But I have two project pan roulettes going on plus this plus my project polish so there's a lot of products that are being used oh, and plus the 100 colorful empties one as well so I have a lot of products that are uh, currently being used in a lot of different projects so yeah so we'll start with the lipstick ones um, all of my lipsticks are in this I have to admit I haven't used these a whole lot so basically they don't look too much different like all of them pretty much look like that um, I know I have used all of them at least once or twice um, but they're the way that they're packaged there's no real way of measuring how much I've actually used and how much is like left of any of them so they all pretty much look exactly the same as they did in the intro video which I'll link down below so that you can see them for yourself and see if they haven't really changed. Next we have the eyeshadows. So the first one was the Eco Minerals uh, Indian Summer eyeshadow. These are just sample eyeshadows. Um, I've used it a few times. So there has been a little bit of progress, but again, because of the way it is and the type of product it is, it's kind of hard to tell. Um, and this one is the Eco Minerals Cocoa Eyeshadow. That's actually the main thing that's in my crease area today, is that one. So I have used both of those um, on and off, but um, loose eyeshadows seem to last like a lot longer, even though these are just... Um, sample sizes but then again this sample size is probably the same amount as in the um, uh, white chocolate chip palette you know, it's like really really teeny tiny you get like half a gram or something in um, the small parts of the shadow the other two shadows in this are these two that were repressed into these containers there's the olive green one which looks exactly the same. I have used it a few times. Doesn't look really different. And the other one is this cream one which I tend to use to set my primer like all over the lid. Uh, of what I've started doing is concentrating on this edge down here. So hopefully at the next update you'll actually be able to see real progress in this one. It is what it is. Then the blushes, um, I have two from Eco Minerals. I have the one in Amethyst, which is actually what, I've been, what I'm wearing today. I've actually been using this one quite a bit. Um, it's the one that I'm going to now that I've hit pan in one of the other ones that's in a project. The other one is called Dream Time. And if I show them both together, I've barely ever used Dreamtime. You can see how much less is in the Amethyst one. So that's pretty much the only way I have of showing that there's actually progress in those because of the type of product that they are. Then we go on to foundation. We have the Eco Minerals foundation in um, light vanilla and vanilla, which I ended up actually mixing together. I've used it maybe once twice. Um, I'd already used it a couple of times so um, I'm not, I don't know, I'm not a huge fan of mineral foundations apparently. Um, I don't know that they look very good on me. Um, and the other one is the CoverGirl True Blend which is a mix of one and two. Now it's actually what I'm wearing. Uh, I don't 100% like it. I've actually got um, one of the others, the powder over the top and it's dark, like the powder is kind of too dark and the foundation seems almost too thin. Unfortunately, 
I don't know where I am. This is actually the only foundation I've been using for probably um, a month, two months. Not that I wear makeup very often, especially in the last month or so. Just sort of scraping the side, seeing if I can get it to behave itself. Okay. So, according to what I can sort of see on the inside, I am about there. About there. So, I will just grab... grab a do flicky um, a pen thing. So we're we're about there. We might be a bit lower but it doesn't want to slide down the side of the container. Story of my life. So then we have the face powders. We have the lol in very light. Um, I've probably only used this like once. Um, it's not the one I've actually been focusing on. The one I've been um, focusing on is this one, which is the Physician's Formula one. This is clearly not a Physician's Formula container. I hated, hated the packaging that it was in. So, when I finished off the BYS powder, which was in another project, I put it in here. Which, um, it filled this up. Like, that's literally how much powder there was. This is completely full and going over the top. So, there's a lot of powder to use. <laughs> uh, I just realised in the blush, I had forgotten to mention this particular blush, which is the Hope Girl blush um, in girly pink, which doesn't look any different, because I haven't been using it. I've been using... Um, the other one. I'm almost tempted in some ways to mix the, um, which one is it? The Dreamtime blush, because I don't really like the colour of it. Um, mix it with the girly pink and come up with a new shade that might be a little bit more wearable for me. We'll see. Um, I have this thing about mixing stuff together. So the last... Um, one is the highlighter. We only need to pick one highlighter, but I've kind of got two in this. Um, I've got the So Susan water-based pure luminizer, which I put in this container because the packaging it was in was actually broken. Um, this is what it looks like. I'm thinking I'm going to have to mix it in with foundation because it kind of goes a little bit patchy when I just try to put it on my cheeks. Um, it's sort of... It's almost like part of, like the shimmer part of it just sits on the surface and the rest of it just soaks into my skin. It's like really weird. So I thought I might have to try mixing it with foundation, which I haven't actually tried yet. Because I don't wear makeup enough. And the other one is this highlighter from Eco Minerals. It's called Illuminate. Um, it is white. <laughs> it's actually really, really nice. It's actually really really highlighty. So I do actually use it occasionally, but again, it doesn't take very much product to have a really big impact with that stuff. So that is my update for my Finish 17 in 2017. Uh, I will link Monica down below and the other girls that I know who are doing this as well, like LS and I think it's Lorraine. I'll link them down below. I'll link my intro so you can see where I was when I started, which is not much different to where we are now. Uh, if you want to subscribe, click the button down there. Leave me a thumbs up if you like these kind of videos, like Project Use Up to videos, and leave me a comment down below. I try to respond to all comments, and I'll see you in my next video. See so, ya. Yeah.